We want to welcome you to our ASEA uh, presentation today. We're so excited that you are here to learn what we have learned and the journey that we have been on. You're going to hear about some miracles today. Uh, my miracle was I at 70, I was beginning to just wear out. I couldn't do some of the things that I was passionate about, like backpacking and hiking and kayaking. And I'm happy to say that at 79, I can do those things with my kids and my grandkids, just having a full life myself. Uh, some people, when they are looking at what we're doing, are interested in the products. Some are excited and hopeful to be able to share the products with themselves, with their family members or friends. Our founder, Virtus, shared his goal to change the lives of people in every country, all, everywhere around the world. And our team, this team, has joined hands with Virtus to help him accomplish this immense and wonderful goal. And then also, with inflation and rising costs, I'm excited that we have a way to help ourselves and help others financially. Um, I was reading a book this over the fourth and my uh, niece said, Aunt Marion, I'm always impressed that you're continually learning and personal development is one of my um, favorite things. The book I was reading was sharing about some reasons that people are interested in our opportunity. Some it's for income, some it's for financial freedom. Some people are interested in having their own business. Some want to have more spare time. Some, like me, personal development, meeting new people, and to leave a legacy. That was also important for me. So as we're listening and sharing today, uh, I want you to realize first that these products that we're going to be telling you about are exciting, but they're not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. What the redox signaling molecules do is support our cells to communicate in order to detect, repair, or replace any cell. Um, they need in order for our body to heal itself. So I'm excited to introduce you to Ruth and she is going to be sharing a video with you that will help you understand why we're excited about ASEA. Well, actually, um, that was um, Beth's um, job. Oh, or, sorry. Or, that's all right. So Beth, would you like to introduce the video? I sure would. Okay. It's a privilege for me to be able to introduce um, to this short seven minute video that is from our co-founder, from our, our founder, excuse me. And um, what I would really like you to pay attention to is the integrity that this man has um, from the very beginning when he was um, asked to be on the board clear through when they had some challenges and um, down through liftoff of this amazing company. So I would like to you to, to um, watch this, um, Mr. Virgis Norton. I grew up in Salt Lake City, Utah, took a degree from the University of Utah, uh, Patty some stores for Safeway and then ended up going to work for General Cruz Corporation. I was asked to sit on the board of a small company that had been working on a technology for about 15 years. Numerous patents, a lot of research, and they were actually producing a product using salt and water. And when they told me that, uh, they wanted me to go on their board. I said, well, you're gonna have to convince me that this is real. How can you produce something from salt and water? And they said, we have a lot of research extensive research, 10 or $15 million worth of research. Virtus agreed to join the board of directors. So I went to the first board meeting and found out that they were flat out of money. They were a million dollars in debt. He said, let's see if we can help them find money. We tried for about 90 days, could not. Eventually the company uh, folded and they actually merged it with another company, an energy company. When that happened, that company started selling off assets. I said, I am going to put a group of investors together. I'm going to take a run at the company. And over the course of the year, we discovered what the product was and why it worked. We developed what's called the mechanism of action. 
they discovered the product was based on redox biochemistry, a new field of science that emerged near the beginning of the 21st century. Redox signaling is a function central to all forms of life. Redox signaling molecules are created within every cell of the body and are vital to the immune system and to cellular repair and replace mechanisms. As one gets older, the body's ability to make these molecules decreases, a function of aging. The products provided a replenishing source of the exact redox signaling molecules the body creates, and in the same balance, enhancing cellular health. Knowing the product shelf life was essential, Burtis challenged a team of researchers, including Dr. Gary Sanderson, to find a way to stabilize the product. Finally, after months, he finally came in and said, I think I've got the product stabilized. And we started testing it and found out that he had, in fact, stabilized the product. After stabilization had been achieved, Burtis met with a group of university scientists. This is stabilized redox signaling molecules, both positive and negative molecules in the same bottle, stabilized. And they said, how in the world did you do this? So one of the big breakthroughs is the fact that we can stabilize molecules that are not supposed to be able to do that. The molecules in the sea are supposed to be fleeting. They should all return to salt and water in just a matter of minutes. So we decided to find 40 people and create kind of a focus group and uh, we started giving it to them. Uh, we, we did that for about two months. We said, let's go out and find out where we are with these 40 people. So when we went out and contacted them, we found out that 40 people had turned into 135 and the product had been shipped to 20 different countries. But in the meantime, we had contacted a, a friend and he was running a very big pharmaceutical company in New Jersey, about $10, $11 billion. And he finally agreed to send a group of people out and spend some time with us and see what we had come up with. So four people flew out on a plane. We spread out all of the research that we had out on the table. They started getting on the phone about noon back east. And they kept doing that. And about two o'clock, they walked in the room and said, uh, you were convinced you've got something here. And it's significant enough that we will write you a check big enough that you won't want to talk to anybody else. And I said, what's the catch? And they said, you've got to shut it down. And I said, shut what down? And they said, you've got 135 people on this product right now. Shut it down. People have problems all the time and they deal with them as best they can. You're going to have to walk away. And that kind of took us back a little bit. In fact, I said, that seems a little harsh to me. And they said, you want to work with us, you walk away. ASEA LLC opened its doors for business in July 2009 with just a handful of independent associates. Today, there are tens of thousands. Their ranks are growing exponentially every month. In 2012, the company announced its entry into Europe, the first of many international steps to come. My wife questions why I'm doing this. She said, you've retired more than once and it's time for you to join me and let's enjoy the golden years, if you will. But recently, a young lady came up and she broke down and started sobbing. And she had a health challenge in her family that was really severe. And uh, she was introduced to a SEA. And because of what a SEA did, uh, she was just grateful. So I find it hard to talk about, but that's reason. So I just find that that man has a heart of gold and I'm really thankful that he didn't shut this down. Um, but I'd like to pass this on to Doug, who's going to introduce Teresa. Well, thank you so much, Ruth. It is a pleasure this evening to introduce our special guest, Teresa Legrand. She is coming to us from a little town of Kelso, Missouri, which is in southeastern Missouri, a little town of 500. She's been married to her husband, three years. She has three full-grown children and 22 grandchildren with the 23rd on the way. So 
she's going to need some energy. You can count on that. But the one thing that we're really glad that uh, Teresa is joining us is she <laughs> came to see it three years ago, which was just a natural transition for her because health has always been important to her. And she had to come overcome some major challenges of her own. So we're going to get to hear Teresa's oh. insight and story and testimony and see if you can't find something in Teresa's story that you can't possibly maybe see in your own life. Oh. want to join this community. So Teresa, welcome. Thank you for taking your time this evening. And we're anxious to hear your testimony. Teresa? Teresa, please unmute. Okay, thank you for having me. And number 23, a little girl is due tomorrow. <laughs> so we're really excited to have another little girl. I'll be our 17th granddaughter. And uh, this grandmother has been very, very active with the three families. And uh, my daughter today told me that, but for six months, mom, you were MIA missing in action. I wasn't able to do anything to help my family. And it was really hard for them because I had been so active and because each one of them have large families, they need that. They need the nanny in there helping. And so uh, I was missing. And so I'm gonna go back and tell you that backstory of what happened and uh, why I was missing for a while. And uh, the title of this is, do you wanna, wanna live longer? And there was a time that I wasn't interested in living longer. And all I want to do now is live longer, healthy. I want to live longer and healthy. And I know that I'm in the community to do that. So I'll go back to 2011. Uh, I was, um, like most people, I was going to a doctor every three months or four months. And, and he would just check the prescriptions that I was on and often add another one. And I was on five prescriptions and lots of over-the-counter medication. But if you asked me if I was sick, I would say, no, I'm not sick. I, I'm just normal, right? <laughs> just normal. I just take all the medicines everybody else does. Well, I had two grandchildren now. They were uh, nine years old and six years old, Kate and Thomas. And they had watched a documentary and they were concerned about me because I was overweight and they thought unhealthy. And they'd watched this documentary where this man did a long juice fast and he got healthy. And so they said, Nanny, maybe you'd like to watch this. And so I took them up on it that during that next week, I went to my daughter's house and we watched it together. And I was so impressed. And I thought if that man could do that and get healthy, then I can do it because really, you know, girl, girl, girls, women are stronger than men, you know, <laughs> more willpower. So I did it and I did a 50 day juice fast and got off all the medications that I was on. And uh, I didn't, uh, the statin drug that I was on, I didn't stop that until I had the blood test done on the 51st day and was, I got off that. And that's been since 2011. I haven't been in it on those medications. So it's very, very thankful that I changed my life. And if we now read Healthy Matters by Dr. Um, give me the name. Uh, Dr. Lee Osler. Lee Osler, yes, Dr. Osler. We know that it matters what you put in your body. And I was putting things in my body that made it very, very toxic. And um, I learned that shortly after I came off that fast where I wasn't eating gluten. And when I reintroduced that, that's when some of those symptoms that had gone away came back. And so, you know, I understood that. So then fast forward into 17, so six years later, and um, I started getting very anxious. I wouldn't say I had anxiety, but anxious, and, I, and stressed, very, very stressed, and um, would lay on the couch in a fetal position. And that's when my daughter says I was MIA. I couldn't do anything. Um, but this went on for six months until I finally found a, a functional medicine doctor in the St. Louis area. And um, when we went there, I mean, I was so bad. I had to hide my eyes. 
as my husband drove up the highway for us to go to the doctor two hours away. And uh, I couldn't even take the stimulation of traffic going by. I was so bad that I don't even know if you know, on your visor, there's a little thing there that says that um, an airbag could kill a child. Most people have never even seen that, but that was just devastating to me to even read that. So I was way off. And um, so when I went to the doctor, he was such a sweet guy and his name is Michael and we've been praying for intercession of Michael the Archangel and there my doctor's name was Michael. And uh, I just cried and said, can you make me the grandmother I used to be? And he said, we will. And so he required a lot of labs. And um, so when I went back another week later and he went over those labs with me, he said, um, you have a, a genetic transcription, it's called MTHFR. If you don't know what that is, you might just write those letters down, M-T-H-F-R. I found out it's very, very common. Several people in our family have been tested, even my daughter-in-law, not blood related. We all have it. And so with that, um, he said, so because of your age, and I was uh, 60 some then, he said, because of your age, have you ever had the um, pneumonia shot? I said, no. And uh, shingles, no. The flu shot. And I said, Yes, because I work in the hospital in pastoral care. And so I had to take that. And I said, the last two years, I didn't take it. I just wouldn't work during that time, those four month period, I just wouldn't work. I just felt uneasy about it. And he said, because of this transcription, your body doesn't methylate properly because it doesn't methylate properly, it doesn't detox properly. And he said, he said um, here's what I think. Toxins were hidden in your body. And when you went into stress, then they went, became active. And because of this transcription, you're not able to detox them, but we can help you. And so that they, his way of helping me was to do infusions that were, it was called Myers cocktail with glutathione push and ozone. And we did probably about 14 of those. And they were 195 each and cash because the insurance doesn't cover it. But I was so happy to have something that might clear this from my body and let me not be so, I, I knew the word was toxic. I was just toxic. And um, I learned that people with that transcription, their bodies don't make enough glutathione. And I learned that glutathione was so essential for us. And um, so then, so I got much better. It was very expensive. My free flu shot cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to try to get back to my normal self. But um, then in, in 20, uh, 19, 19, my friend Cinda Westbrook, had it, she and I do I always try to do things naturally uh, to take care of ourselves. And she had learned about ASEA through her friend, Marsha and uh, Marsha Edwards, and she wanted me to try this. Well, our 21st grandchild was born in April. So she, she messaged me in April and wanted me to do it, and I was too busy. And then the next grandchild was born in June, and I was <laughs> too busy with another one. And so by August, there was a meeting in Cape Girardeau, close to us, and Barbie Bassett came and led that meeting. And uh, <clears throat> the night before that meeting, I was praying with my husband and I couldn't sit still. I was just, he knew, he could tell from that I was getting very anxious again. And uh, he said the next morning, do we need to go get another infusion? And that was his way of telling me, you're not acting right. And I said, no, I said, you know, I kind of think this product that Cinda wants me to look at will be something similar to the infusion I'm getting, something about that. And then, so I went to that, and of course I signed up that night and uh, started drinking it. And I realized, I learned that ozone is a redox molecule. Only I saw the little machine in the doctor's office that the ozone was made in and had to be injected immediately. And then here they had this bottle 
that had these redox molecules like this in it that I could sit on my counter and drink that at will for $130 a case for a month. And I was like, what a bargain. <laughs> This is wonderful. So I understood then. And then I heard, you know, about the way it increased your body's glutathione effectiveness. And I knew that's exactly what I needed. So I have been on this journey now to good health and good emotional uh, stability. And uh, people in ASEA that know me can't imagine me not being able to smile. But there was a long time that there was not a smile on my face. And um, I'm glad it's back. My grandkids are glad it's back. I was at the swimming pool today with them, you know, and uh, they're glad to have their, their nanny back. That's my grandma's name is Nanny. And they're so glad to have me back and, and not have to come and take care of me and encourage me, but to know that I'm back. And so, you know, the things, the list on the bottle here that says what ASEA does was everything I needed. And I'm like, give it to me. So I have gotten several people on it because they, they see me, they know me that I'm very honest and I wouldn't dare ask them to do something I wouldn't do. And so uh, my husband and I are both uh, started it August of 19 and haven't missed a day. And I feel like that's the best thing we've ever done for ourselves. That's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that is amazing. Um, um, I'd like to open up to, do you have any more to share or we, are you open for some questions? Um, let me tell you about my sister. This okay. is my, my biggest um, result, big, biggest uh, testimony that I have in my family is my sister. Uh, so the, the day that I went to see Barbie Bassett and hear that great um, talk that she gave presentation, I didn't know that my sister who had had a, a bad place on her ankle for eight months, she had gone to see Dr. Carmen Keith, who is, was also using ASEA, and she's a functional medicine doctor. And my sister had been dealing with this thing on her leg, this bad patch on her leg for eight months and was going to a regular allopathic doctor and every month got another prescription for antibiotic and it was not clearing it up. And so on the eighth month, when she got, wrote the, the doctor was writing out the next antibiotic, she said, if this one doesn't work, the next step will be to refer you to an orthopedist to discuss amputation. And my sister said, oh no, we won't. She said, I'm going to that functional medicine doctor. And she went to Dr. Keith. And while Dr. Keith was doing her health history, she said, while we're visiting, um, she picked up the gel and she said, will you rub some of this on your ankle? And when my sister did, she said, I could feel the heat coming out of it as soon as I put it on. So she went to that appointment the same time that I went to the presentation, neither one of us knowing the other was doing it. And so I had called her a few days after the presentation and she was on a business trip and I'm telling her as she's driving all about this amazing product. And she said, that's what Dr. Keith had. I take some to my house. So I took it to her house and as soon as she got home, she started using it. And that sort of clearing up on her leg beautifully. And so that was in August of 19 and mm. she had not had to have her leg removed. Thank God. <laughs> so she's a happy woman and I am too. That's amazing. I met a new friend this weekend and she had a similar experience to your sister. I didn't know her at that time, but I could see this big indent. It was, there was skin covering it all now. So it wasn't an open wound, but um, so many months of pain and afraid you'd lose your foot. How, how much uh, ASEA do you take, Teresa? Uh, two out, four ounces a day, most days, some days six, some days eight, according to what's going on. But um, usually about four ounces, mm -hmm. never under that for sure. Mm -hmm. Are there any other ASEA products that you have found helpful? Oh my, uh, well, <laughs> the new drinks, uh, the self-performance, 
I don't go a day without using more than one cell performance. Uh, uh, the mood, oh my gosh, the mood has done so much for me. I was still having to take a tiny bit of an anti-anxiety medication. And after I started that, a couple of weeks on it, I was able to stop that, stop the anti-anxiety medication. I love mood. I drink it. Um, I will half a pack, do a half a pack it before bed, and then the other half when I wake up in the morning. And it just, may I ask a question there? Yes. Um, so, as you're using it consistently, do you find that the third day, the fifth day, the tenth day were more effective than the first day? Absolutely. Look at yes. Look at me now. <laughs> it feels, <laughs> it feels so good. Yes, it's it is uh, really improved every day. Yes, and uh, so I'm so glad that it builds on every day that I feel better and better. And um, I have I take so much. Uh, I take a I, I was taking a lot of supplements to keep me settled down, you know, and all that. I don't have to do any of that anymore. Um, it is so wonderful that I they really hit the target with mood. I love it. And then our son and his wife and five children, they're building a new house and doing it pretty much on their own. And so my husband and I, who are retired, <laughs> we have to go every day and help them on that house. And we may be there 10 hours. And so both of us take energy. When we're leaving our house, we drink energy. And uh, we're able to keep up with those people who are 30 years younger than us. So uh, that really helps. And just before I came on here, I drank a mind, you know, <laughs> I need my mind to be there. I drink it. <laughs> Are there any other questions? Well, I'd say, Teresa, you're a rock star. And well, uh, way to stick with it. And I, and I guess I get my little part here in a minute, so I'll save a little comments from there. <laughs> Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Darlene Dozier, and I get the great pleasure of introducing been with this company for a long time. The medical board, he one being he's been a physical therapist and um, he's uh, developed a neurological a uh, professor city um, uh, and a passion to make his partnership with the uh, he is on one of these zooms so I want to welcome Jerry to the team thanks Jerry I uh, thank you and uh, you know what you're looking especially good tonight. This is this is a good. I would wear that outfit whenever we get on TV. That's that's a good one. Uh, thank you for that. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up about this stories that Teresa was uh, telling us about how her body found its way back. But in order for her body to find its way back, somebody had to have the courage to step out of their life marcia was the one and and to say it's so important to help other people that she put herself aside to make a difference and look at what's happened in this family all of those people had started a, a legacy already so i like to say congratulations to people like marcia who who said I see something more here. And so that's a, I, I just, I, I think that sometimes that's unsung for each one of you, you know, some people who make a difference. And just as this whole team has developed uh, that does this call off of the same kind of effects from Marion, who, who had compassion for um, 
well, it, the the whole thing started just from I think a connection on the internet. Uh, just somebody that she met Gloria on the internet. Gloria then introduced all the rest of this whole chain of people. And you know what? I think that's what life is all about for all of us. And so when I came to this, I was a professor of, of biomechanics. I was set up that laboratory for the Shriners Hospital. And, and I was asked to come to this by a couple of housewives who had discovered this technology early on and pestered me for four years to change what I was doing before. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm uh, trying to plug all the holes in the boat that I was in, but it was sinking. And I was putting so much focus on it that I said, no, you know what? I do not want to switch gears. I want to stick with what I'm doing. I want to try to save this other company. It nearly killed me. Um, and, and finally, I went down and uh, got... A, a sense of what this technology could do by simply just reestablishing communication in the cells, for the cells, by the cells, and uh, allowing the body to work not some kind of crazy way, but what the way it used to work when you were young. Wouldn't that be interesting? It doesn't have to be different. It doesn't have to be strange. It basically is what you've already known how to do for years and years and years. So that was that knocked me off my horse. From all that science, this made more sense. We've been able to help thousands and thousands and thousands of people look better. You look younger. Teresa, you look like you got more energy than most people I run across in a week. And uh, just ex exciting. It hard to tell these people are. Here's Marion that's, that's hiking the high Sierra trails in, in the, the, the peaks of, of California and what, 77 years old? Come on. What, this, is, this is the fountain of youth. So um, in all of that, it's really simply just turning the lights on and letting the body go to work. So um, I want to encourage each one of you to just understand that the only way you can get this, it becomes... It starts as a sort of core group of, of materials based on this redox signaling. And that just simply means that this, uh, this founder, Virtus Norton, that you saw, picked up on how important this discovery was that, that could provide the cells in your body with the communication tools they start to lose with age and stress and drugs and life and like all the stuff we have. And once it started providing those communication tools back, they discovered that it was a complete accident that they knew how to do it in the first place. It should be impossible for those to work, to stay stable, to be able to be delivered. It took 17 years trying to become a drug to figure out that it didn't hurt anybody. And then they went the route of trying to offer to the drug company, as you saw, and Virtus said, I, I don't I don't want to take everybody off of this. We finally found how to fix people. So they came back out and they asked all of us to consider using it. If it makes a difference, spreading the word and getting the word out. So the only way that it's distributed, it comes in a, a quart bottle. Teresa was good enough to hold that up there for us. Uh, that's one form in a water-based solution. You can also get it in a gel. These are absolutely radical new technologies. But with that communication, your cells are going to begin to start realizing we've been sitting on our duff. We've been missing a lot of the things we should be doing in comparative analysis with all the stuff we used to. So it says, we're going to need some more stuff. And so this company said, well, part of that's nutritional. And as Teresa mentioned, she stopped taking a whole bunch of varied nutritional pieces from all around uh, that other people suggested. They don't even know what this stuff is. So they said, we'll put together some formulations for kind of a multivitamin and, and things for um, omegas and, and uh, probiotics and all these other things that are really important nowadays. Uh, but put them in a form that works synergistic with this new discovery of information. What would the cells be looking for if they finally had that information? 
And then comes the next part, which was to, to say, we can actually take these um, and apply other skin care preparations to clean the skin, to moisturize the skin, to appropriately put the pH so that it works better. And that's been remarkable. That's another key piece. And then the cell performance that, that Teresa was just mentioning is just a, a series of little satchels that you can tear off and add to water. And, and so we're saying, okay, the body systems then begin to start to say, we need to work on emotions. We need to work on the energy that's required to run your day. Whatever that direction is that it says it needs, now we're able to take some kind of exotic tools that have been tested to work with this specifically. And it now makes this tremendous circle of possibilities. Now you can get that by going to a website that is represented by each one of the people here. If you uh, know them, ask them, they will be uh, able to get it to you. It's the only place you can get it. Um, so it's, it's called a SIA. If you are going to do your own studies on a SIA, the best way to do it is to go to real redoxresults.com. Now, you can get all kinds of opinions from everybody on the internet if you want to, but it's kind of like a guy who wanted to uh, sail around the world. And he had a grouchy old neighbor who tried to sail around the world in a 12 foot boat. He nearly drowned six times trying to get out of the harbor. So if you ask that guy his opinion, his dream of sailing around the world, the old guy goes, you're nuts, don't try it. It's going to drown you. Nobody ever makes it. It'll, it. You'll go bankrupt. You're no good. But he also has maybe an explorer lives on the other end of the, the uh, cul-de-sac that sailed around the world five times. Magnificent stories. Success. He could ask that guy who'd say, hey, go for it. There's going to be a few things. There'll be lumps in the road. But you know what? Life is about the challenges. I'll show you some stuff. We'll get you there. Let's make it happen. I would tend to talk to the people for whom that works rather than ones who sit around and go, it'll never work. I don't know much. All I know is I nearly drowned. And so uh, life is kind of pitching me sort of dirt balls. So the last little part is that once you're better, once you have a change, it could be for you or your pets, surprisingly this works better on animals than it does people or maybe then you'd want like marion to do uh that self-improvement and continuously learn and there's other people that really uh like me i came to this with a tremendous need for time i was working too much and my kids came to me with tears in their eyes my son and said dad why is it you can go down and play with those kids at that hospital if you ever come home there's no time for us Time was so important to me, but I was just strung out too many. I could go back to 15 more years of education to change. And I found this and it gave me time, but it gave me the ability to make a change in thousands, tens of thousands, in fact, hundreds of thousands of people's lives instead of just one or two. Empowering people to get over themselves and or to make a difference and a legacy for others. So we'd like to invite you to look into this deeper, simple to do, get back to the people and, and, and take a look at those real redox results and uh, choose some of the stories there. I'd say start with the skeptics. That'll clean it up right away. I'll pass this back to you. Uh, who's that, Marion? Are you, you, you got, you're on mute. Ruth? Ruth, are you closing? Closing. Um, so I really want to thank um, both you, Teresa and Jerry, for sharing. Um, Jerry, that analogy with the boats, um, the 12 foot boat and the yacht or whatever, the big boat, that really hit for me. You know, the, um, and there's a lot of people in those like small boats that I run into. And um, I think you, everyone here is in one of the big boats that are a lot more inspiration. And um, Teresa, for you, I mean, I really resonate with all of that, especially all that you shared and, and how you just kept on it and um, how um, 
you know, you, you found this, this redox and how it was $130 a month versus going to the doctor and, um, and how it's helped you so much. And also um, about the drinks, they really helped me too. Um, I, I don't go a day without them now since I've been introduced to them. And um, so thank you for your time and everyone who has come. Um, thank you for coming and whoever has invited you, I um, invite you to reach out to them for your next steps, whether this, you're here tonight or you're seeing this on a video. And I'd like to um, share the next stream. Um, let me see. Um, yeah. So tomorrow on July 6th um, at 3.30 Pacific time on 5.30 Central time, we're going to be, have a guest speaker, Pepper Black. She's on a mission to help people worldwide. Um, she has been an estate planner for 24 years. And recently her daughter shared she is such a light and such a wonderful role model. She's a hard worker, shows love to everyone. She meets and makes you feel like the most special person in the world. So I think, so tomorrow will be a great place to um, come. You're gonna learn a lot and see a wonderful um, testimony. Um, so that's it. Thank, thank you all. And uh, we'll close out with that. Well, thank you for being here, all of you from Missouri. Uh, our hearts go with you. Uh, you, you you're the ones that keep asking questions, but we love you anyway. Thanks, Bye Jerry. for now. Bye-bye. Thanks Bye. for answering questions. <laughs> yeah, excellent, Teresa. People will be looking for this for a lot for years to come. Thank you. Bye-bye.